I'm going to give you this great example from my very first year teaching. And this is when I had just come out of my college courses and, and my instructors had really made me think about the dangers of using commands and the dangers of asking too many questions. And the only tool in my tool belt at this time were these informational statements. So I made the mistake of putting all, we have all these little plastic bears and I put, there's like 500 of them. I put them all on the table. And these twin boys came in, Charlie and Sam, and they stood across the table from each other and they did that thing twins do where they read each other's minds. And they just went <laughs> and knocked all the bears on the floor. And kids were stumbling on them and kicking on them and knocking them under the table and they had to get back up on the table. And all I had were these informational statements. So I said, and this is all that came to me, the bears are on the floor and they belong on the table. And Charlie and Sam just stood there looking at the bears on the floor. So I said it again, the bears are on the floor and they belong on the table. And Charlie and Sam just stood looking at the bears. But now you see what's happened. Some time had gone by, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds. Now there was some space there and they were starting to do their thinking. So this time I said, the bears are on the floor and they belong on the table. And this time Sam bent down and picked up one bear and put it on the table. Then Charlie picked up one bear and put it on the table. All right, 498 bears to go. So I said it again, the bears are on the floor and they belong on the table. And this time I remember to narrate what I saw. Sam is picking up a bear and putting it on the table. Charlie is picking up a bear and putting it on the table. And then I said, because adults are often about efficiency and this was not an efficient method, I said, I'm going to help Charlie and Sam. And I scooped up a big handful of bears and put it on the table. I said it again, the bears are on the floor and they belong on the table. Sam bent down and picked up one bear. He didn't take my cue at all. Charlie bent down and picked up one bear. But now Alice came over. Alice is picking up a bear and putting it on the table. Jody is picking up a bear and putting it on the table. All right. So I said it again, the bears are on the floor and they belong on the table. Sam is picking up a bear and putting it. Charlie's putting a bear on the table. Alice is putting a bear on the, Jody's putting, Sandra's, and pretty soon we had like six or seven kids putting the bears on the table. And it took us 25 minutes. I'm not saying that this method is fast. It's just more effective and honors the children. We eventually took us 25 minutes. We got all the bears back on the table, one at a time. And then sure enough, Charlie and Sam knocked them all on the floor again. So I started the process again. The bears are on the floor and they belong on the table. By the time we were done this time, I started narrating what was going on. We probably had a dozen kids putting the bears back on the table. This was not about cleaning up. This was what the community was doing. This is what perhaps your family is doing. This is what, we, this is what we're naturally designed to do is participate in the activities, not to be told what to do, but to choose for ourselves to be part of it. We got them back on the table this time. It took us maybe you know, 15 minutes. Well, Charlie and Sam knocked them on the floor again. I went through the process again. By the end here, by the time we got to the end, every single kid in the class, there were 20 kids picking up the bears and putting them back on the table. That's what we were doing for a time. Charlie and Sam knocking the bears off, the kids putting them back on the table. Thankfully, Charlie and Sam then walked away after it. They were done with the project. And we all know, nine times out of 10, what happens is the kid who knocks them on the floor runs away. But that's okay. If we start narrating, we start telling the story, we start making informational statements, we cause Alice will still come over, Jody will still come over, because we've created the space for them to think for themselves. And they will put the bears back on the table.